Welcome to Central Valley Talk Live. Austin Reed coming to you from our Tower District Studios inside the Mike Briggs building. We thank you for joining us. I can't believe it is the final days of January. It feels like the new year just began yesterday. Not the case. Hey, we're talking about photo and video now. Joining us live in our Tower District Studios today. Give it up for the owner of Vivid Point. <laughs> Man, thanks for having me, Austin. Thank you uh, so much. <laughs> Tell everybody your name. My name is Brandon Botello. Uh, I am the head photographer for Vivid Point Photography and Videography. We uh, offer both photo and video services, and it's just something I'd like to spread some light on. So tell me a little bit about your experience behind the camera. So surprisingly, when my clients ask me this, sometimes they're, uh, they ask right before the shoot, you know, they'd like to know how much uh, experience a photographer has that they're hiring. Mm -hmm. And then I tell them, mm, about two years. And, <laughs> and they look at me like, oh, and they look at each other. You know, if it's like a couple or something, they'll look at each other like, oh, no, did we just hire somebody that's going to botch our wedding. Right. And I'm like, well, don't worry. I've, it's been too Solid back-to-back -back every weekend doing uh, something years. So I picked it up fast. I, I'd like to say that I'm, you know, making a lot of clients happy. So, Well, let's, <laughs> um, let's start taking a look at some pictures. I know you sent a, a few in. So um, we are going to show those in just a second. But um, tell me, have you always wanted to do this kind of work? Absolutely not. Wow. It's, it's, inter it's, it's interesting. So... At first, I wanted to be a musician. It okay. was kind of the thing that was going around. I was like 15 or 16, and a lot of uh, a lot of teens in high school and stuff were becoming musicians, and uh, it was just kind of the thing to do. Uh, funny story: I actually did start doing music, but then I realized, how can I get you know closer to bigger artists and stuff? Well, they need photographers. So right. my mindset was kind of become a photographer, get on stage with them, get behind you know backstage, talk to them, network, and then I just decided you know photography is. It's also very, you know, very expressive art, and um, it was just a lot of fun. Met a lot of super cool people, and kind of stuck with that instead. So we're looking at this picture right now. Uh, wow, that's yeah, that's a <laughs> cool shot. Whoa. So that one's actually, uh, it's funny. So that one is actually for my personal photography as well. Uh, shot by Brandon B on Instagram. Okay. That's another topic, but. I just kind of wanted to show the variety because I don't only do wedding and family lifestyle, you know, photography. I also do creative work, brand work, you know, just street photography. That's really where the soul of it was for me. That's what started it all. I started doing more weddings and family stuff because I just got to meet a lot of nice people and, you know, make people's capture the most important day in someone's life. You yeah, know? you capture the moment. It's memories. And yeah, pictures, they're just they speak a thousand words. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, all right, we're gonna look at another picture that you sent in, and I don't know what it is. So here it is. Okay, where is this? Is this is this in San Francisco? Yeah, San yeah, Francisco. That's Baker Beach. So, oh, wow. yeah, um, it was just a little engagement shoot I did, and uh, it was it was really cool. You know, they had like a little setup and stuff, a, a marry me sign. And um, I got to work with some other cool people that I was learning under. You know, that's how I gained most of my experiences by working under people, other teams. So, yeah, that's just in San Francisco. Uh, lovely couple. Quick trip there and back. Didn't even stay for the night. Didn't even stay for the night. No. Just went. <laughs> and, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, very intimate wedding. That's yeah. in Yosemite Lakes Parks. I actually grew up there. So oh, okay. I was very stoked to be able to do some pictures there. So as you're taking these pictures what goes goes in your mind well a lot more than it did at first before um it was more of just does this look cool mm -hmm. and do i like it you know it wasn't about like industry standards like following the rules and stuff because i didn't learn the proper way i didn't take a photography class i learned purely just experimenting and doing it myself i never even knew the the numbers and the logistics of how a camera worked i, uh -huh. just, I just kept going and did it um what goes through my mind now is colors, composition, and making sure that the you know the models aren't gonna be mad at me for making them look right, exactly. <laughs> showing their bad side. <laughs> You're like stressed out. No, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's always no double chin, no double chin. Yes, That's so funny. Um, okay, this is a cool shot. Yeah, so that's actually my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's she's lovely. She we know we go out and experiment and do a lot of different photos and stuff. That was last year in spring. Actually, no, I think it was sometime around this year, uh, going into February, or March when the flowers started coming out. But there was still snow and shaver. Okay. We had just gone and taken pictures in the snow, 
and then right after that, wildflowers. It's like, you know, California's crazy. I know. You, you have it all. You never know. You never know. Um, tell me a little bit as well about your videography because you, you do video too. Yeah, I actually do want to show, uh, spread a lot of light on that because my videography, a lot of people don't know I do it. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, sometimes when they're booking um, a wedding package, they – they hit me up later, like, oh, we need a photographer. We already hired a videographer. It's like, oh, well, my team could have covered that too, you know. But it's okay. I didn't advertise it as much. That's why I made the new page. So I'm not a new photographer per se. I mean, some people might say three years in the industry is a baby. But um, the new page I just created to really separate my wedding and professional work. Um, videography. I, ha I, have, I do drone footage. I do, oh. yeah, I do regular camera foot, you know, work. Um, it can be slow and romantic it can be exciting and fast-paced whatever you know whatever the client needs it's it's a really custom service and i just want you know i want to expand and, and and have more people know that you can really get all of your needs handled with vivid point tell me a little bit about uh the um you know a, a, as far as packages and and the pricing is it is everything different um, a little bit. Okay. So there's obviously, you know, there's going to be bases and stuff of what I kind of, you know, show on my website and my Instagram and stuff. Um, but here's the biggest, that's actually one of the most common questions I get is, uh, how come you don't display your prices? Well, a lot of people think, you know, oh, price gauging, you know, maybe the photographer tries to do something different every time. Well, the thing is, no client is the same. And I don't mean by the client themselves, I mean their needs, right? Some, some uh, weddings... I also do a lot of other culture weddings, like Punjabi weddings. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah, so the weddings aren't always one day. So the prices can range from, well, is it a 30-person wedding, really intimate in one day? Or is it a destination wedding with 300 people, and you want photo video for three days straight, right? Reception, wedding, pre-wedding party. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's, you know, it's, do you want drone footage? Do you want to go to the beach and go, you know, go somewhere further, you know, so, so it's going to, it's going to range based on the client's needs. So I like to tailor a service to them. Which I think is great too, because, because every project is different. Yeah. You know, yeah, so. definitely. Um, okay. As we are in a new year, anything else, uh, exciting things that's going to be happening, uh, with Vivid Point here this year? Absolutely. We're going to expand some more indoor photography. At first I was just a natural lighting photographer. I love to do outside. Um, but there's going to be a lot of cool indoor setups that sometimes I only see on social media. I feel like Fresno does have a lack of creative photo studios. You know, everybody goes to LA outsources to other cities. So I'd like to really give people a reason to, you know, we can, we can do cool things here. Right. You know, no, it's not like a whole like put Fresno on the map thing, but I feel like people shouldn't have to go four hours away oh, yeah, to get yeah. to get really cool indoor photos. Also, um, I would love to open a venue eventually, yeah. you know, just handle more people's needs all at once. <laughs> so, yeah, you got a lot. You got a lot coming. That's a great picture. Baby, yes. right? Yes. Maternity pictures. Uh, that's actually a friend of mine. Um, yeah. A lot, of my, a lot of my friends were very supportive. They're like, oh, yeah, we have to hire a friend. <laughs> right, of course. You yeah. know, got to support our friend's <laughs> yeah. business. Um, so I'm very thankful for everybody that's, you know, that's by me. But it is something I was just like, man, I got to do this. I got to do this by myself. I was, like, being really stubborn, you know. But I love doing maternity photos. It's just beautiful. And then right after I do their newborn pictures. <laughs> see, that's awesome. Yeah. And then, yeah, then to, to, to see it. Yeah. You just, get to experience. Yeah, you experience. really tell a story, you know. It's like uh, yeah. sometimes uh, – I, ex I have to explain to people. I'm like, you do realize these pictures are, they're priceless. Like they're gonna, they're gonna outlive you. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. it seems a bit, you know, Weird, a bit but dark. True. But <laughs> it's like these pictures will go down generations. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta make sure they're good. Uh, so clients, uh, you're taking new clients right now. Oh, definitely. Okay. Already booked, a, you know, a wedding or two as soon as February and March. But I'm always looking for more. Okay. I'm expanding on my team. So even if we have some dates booked, I would love to you know, get some of the best people in the Central Valley and, you know, have them, have them handle your wedding. So vividpointphoto.com. You, you, you've, you're good, dude. You really, <laughs> the, those pictures that I just saw were really good. You still a lot of improvement to do. <laughs> well, you know, but it's funny though. I mean, you, you can tell that you're passionate and, um, you, you're, you're just, uh, the, the, the pictures that I saw, are just so I don't know the beautiful. It, there's like this happiness with them. Oh yeah. Um, do you do a lot of editing too? I do. Uh, I started out over editing. I feel like that's a lot of things uh -huh. that, you know amateur photographers do. Um, it's a simple rookie mistake. But I try to be more natural now. And okay. also, you know, the happiness thing that you were mentioning. It's because I I always tell my clients, hey, sometimes pretend I'm not here. Look at each other. Talk to each other. 
whisper, you know, tell each other things that you guys like to hear, and then we get genuine laughs and smiles. I also just love to be super humorous and have a good time. And I'll, just be goofy. Yeah, I'll kind of read the room and sense what kind of clients I have, and then I'll be like, okay, I can use my dark humor with them, or I could use, you know, <laughs> and I make them laugh, and it's then you get the most natural, you know, realistic-looking yep. pictures. It is real. It is real. All right. Uh, thanks again, brother. Good to meet you. Come back yeah, anytime, okay? Yeah, it was great okay? to meet you, Austin. All right. Very good. Uh, photo, video needs, vividpointphoto.com. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. You're watching Central Valley Talk. Uh, we're back with another guest coming up in just a couple of minutes. Hang tight.